they should have been home already. <gasps> Yay, the back! Now, what can I do today? Hmm. What are they looking for? Oh, the phone charger. Where is it? Ah, there. Now we'll just subtly move the cord to the shape of a heart. Done! Now for them to find it. <gasps> they did! Like, oh, they look so cute when they realize. Oh, fine then, ignore my heart. Jerk. Uh, oh, they go into the room. I, I can, I can, I can pull up the romance novels. Surely that'll be enough. Wait, why are they going back downstairs? That's right. Every time they read, they have to have a cup of tea. That's cute and all, but I'm starting to lose my patience. Come on, heat up already. Doesn't matter what flavor you get, they all probably taste the same anyway. Thick. A oh, damn bag. Thank you. Now wrap it and put it in your cup and go upstairs already. Finally, they're here. Now, where's the good book? Ah, here's one. Now we'll just grab it and... <gasps> they noticed! No. Uh, no, uh, don't, don't put it back. Let's try this again. Okay, they should be excited now and... They... They look scared? Maybe they need a stronger hand. God, just do it fine. Stupid dumbass, can I take a goddamn hint? Oh. Oh god. They hit their head on the table pretty hard. Oh, oh no, that's a lot of. Did I. Did I just. Oh no, I did. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna say to them, this could be so awkward. Uh, uh, hi there, it's, it's me. Oh, um, the one who's been trying to get your attention? Hey, that's rude, you know? Haunting is a very strong word. I prefer surprise roommate. Ah, <sighs> oh, that wasn't your imagination. Not that either. Look. If you hadn't been so blind to the themes of these spooky occurrences, I wouldn't have to resort to such drastic measures. Are you just now realizing I've been flirting with you? Hey, I may be able to move objects, one, that's hard as hell to do, and two, I try to communicate with you, but you refuse to listen to your friend I possessed to use an Ouija board. Ah yes, you would have understood much easier if I just possessed them to tell you, hey, there's a ghost in your house that really likes you, and you certainly wouldn't have either shrugged them off or told them to get help. You are kind of, sort of, very dead? Dude, look at you! You see that person on the floor? How they aren't moving or breathing and look exactly like you? Okay, okay, I get it, you're mad, that's understandable. 
most people, when they die, are slightly upset about it. You're livid. Uh, 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 that's a strong word, don't you think? Hey, I didn't mean to kill you. I just got a little upset that you weren't noticing me. But look, there's nothing you can do about it now. I mean, there is, but I don't want you to know it. Uh, nothing. Uh, so, what do you say? Want to hang out with me and get to know each other a little more? No, but, but what else are you going to do, huh? Waiting in line to go into the afterlife? Oh yeah, there is one, but it's not what you're thinking. It, well, don't actually know what it is or what you think it is. So I couldn't tell you if you were right or not. Why haven't I gone? Well, truth be told, I'm kind of attached to this world and the people in it. I didn't uh, get to say goodbye to everyone. You, you really don't want to know what happened. No, no, you don't. I don't want to break your heart or feel sorry for me. God, I hate it when other ghosts feel sorry for me or just tell me to accept it as if it didn't happen a few years ago. Yeah, I'm pretty new to the ethereal world. Still wandering around, lost, confused, trying to desperately contact someone, anyone I remember from when I was alive. It took me a while to realize I couldn't. The fuck you think I mean? I can't just write a message for people. I know that because I've tried that. How do you think it went over? God, how, how are you this fucking stupid? I, I wrote a message for my mom and I left it on the desk. Told her I loved her, that I missed her. That it wasn't her fault. She panicked, complete other panic. She left to get my dad and Oh God, why was I so stupid? How did I think it would make things better? I got rid of it. When they came back, it was gone. My mom was hysterical. She was committed for a while, and that's when I realized my old life was over. I couldn't interact with anyone alive anymore. With you, I, I wanted to try again. I saw the kind, gentle soul you are, and I thought I'd give you another chance. You filled me with hope, and I haven't felt in a long time. But I knew I had to be subtle. I couldn't risk driving you away or scaring you. So I did what small things I could. Driving low hearts to your coffee, moving your keys so where you would find them, when you thought you had lost it. Anything small to get you to notice someone unseen was looking out for you. But they cared for you, and today, I lost it. Weeks and weeks and weeks of effort. It was just not working. I snapped. I slammed the bookshelf. And killed you. Well, it really isn't the end of life for you. Remember how I said there's nothing you can do once you're dead? Well, that's true for most people, but... Because I was the cause of your death. You have the chance of being revived. Once the Reaper gets here and realizes your death wasn't earthly, you'll get to love again. Yes, really. Surely you've seen or heard some people surviving crazy shit that should have annihilated them. Yeah, that probably was the ghost doing some dumb shit they shouldn't. Or they do get punished. 
Some never learn, though they call themselves mischievous tricksters, and think that because no one dies, that what they do is okay. In reality, they're assholes. Yep, I'm gonna be punished too. Don't be sorry, I deserved it. The Reaper's almost here. You'll get to return to the mortal world soon, so I guess this is goodbye. I'll be out of your hair now. You don't have to hear from me anymore. You want to? Even though I killed you? I need a friend. Well, I kind of wanted more than that, but I suppose it's hard to date someone you can't even see, huh? Thank you, it means so much to hear. Finally, I get to be a part of life again. Well, I'll probably be off in a little since I didn't do anything brutal. Yours was quick and plain, painless. Yeah, I'll write your letter when I'm out. Valerie. Hey, Aretha. Remember me? You know why I'm here. Yeah, I thought I accidentally killed them. Do you know the repercussions? I understand. Will you comply with the punishments? Yes, I will comply. Good. We must be off. So, um, I guess this is goodbye for now. Yeah, your head wound will mostly be sealed up. Gonna need to go to the hospital and get stitches, but you'll be back to normal in a couple of weeks. See you around, I guess. You'll be waiting for me? Thank you. Yeah, see you soon, buddy.